Round Robin is a well-known cooperative learning strategy. For any cooperative learning strategy, it is essential to follow its steps carefully to assure success of the strategy. In this video, we will focus on steps of Round Robin strategy. Before we begin with steps of Round Robin strategy, let us take a look at this graphic. It is depicting a traditional classroom scenario. Here, the teacher stands either near the desk or blackboard and delivers the lecture. You may have also noticed that in such a situation, students generally tend to look at their teachers trying to absorb as much information as they can. Cooperative learning strategies breaks this monotony. One of the essential elements of cooperative learning is face-to-face -face interactions. Thus, for all cooperative learning strategies, seating arrangement is changed to allow students face each other literally. Now, let us take a look at how this traditional classroom can be converted to cooperative learning classroom. Observe the graphic carefully. Here, you can see that the teacher has divided the class into several groups. In round robin sessions, based on the strength of their classroom, teacher can divide their class into groups of 3 to 5 students per group. The teacher can either ask students to be ready with a pen and paper or can provide it to them. To begin the activity, the teacher needs to pose the question to the class, which will allow them to generate multiple answers. But before that, she needs to explain the steps to the class. She also needs to explain the roles students need to play while working in the round robin group. During round robin activity, the teacher moves around observing the students interaction and witnessing the flow of their ideas or answers. The teacher may note down the observations for further use. The teacher may intervene only if required. For instance, if there is a dispute among students regarding any point, if the students are not motivated enough to participate, if students are finding difficulties in generating ideas, then the teacher may intervene and suggest some way out or can give hints to find the solution of the problem. Now, let us take a closer look at the round robin group. As you can see, four students are participating in the round robin activity. Here, students will take turns to present their answers to the rest of the group. One person will play the role of the recorder who will write down all the ideas presented in the group. So, in the same manner, students will take two or three rounds to find as many answers as possible. After two or three rounds, once students are out of ideas, students from each group share their answers with the rest of the class. Let us take a quick look at the steps once again. The teacher divides the class in groups of 3 to 5 students per group. The teacher provides writing material to the students. Teacher explains nature of the strategy and role to be played by the students in the group. The teacher poses the question which needs to have multiple answers. In the group, students take turns to share their ideas. The reporter records all the ideas shared in the group. After two or three rounds, once students are out of ideas, students from each group share their answers with the rest of the class. The teacher may end this activity here. But 
it is advisable to dissolve all the groups and conduct open discussion on ideas or answers presented this aids in learning